chicken and a pizza hut, a pizza hut. McDonald's, McDonald's, cause I'm a Is fast food really that bad for you? I mean, what would happen if I ate nothing but McDonald's for 30 days straight? I knew if I was going to do this, I would need some serious medical supervision. Your blood tests are, are excellent. Total cholesterol of 168, at least superb. In terms of the salts in your blood, your kidney function, your liver function, they were all perfect. It's the first day, and uh, I'm on my way to breakfast. I got my egg McMuffin. That's going to be the first thing right there. Oh, I love Big Macs. See, this, this is probably the first time in a long time that I've actually seen a Big Mac that looks like the picture. Hello, may I help you? Yeah, can I get the uh, double quarter pounder with cheese meal? Look at that. Look at that Coke. That barely fits in there. Look how big that French fry is. That thing is like four feet tall. Double quarter pounder. That's a lot of food, man. See, now's the time of the meal when you start getting the mixed stomach ache. Right now, I got I got some gas that's rocking. My Sweat? arm. Are you sweating there? My arms. I feel like I got some McSweats going. My arms got the McTwitches going in here from all the sugar that's going in my body right now. I'm I'm dying. Oh God, that's so nasty. <laughs> Oh, that's making me puke. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. My stomach feels horrible this morning. It doesn't feel good at all. I'm getting this really weird feeling right in my midsection, like based like this freaky. That is very odd. Yeah. 1339. 1339. I made it over the three-day hump. You know how when you, you quit smoking? I don't know how many of you out there smoke cigarettes, but you should stop. I quit smoking, and there's the, it's the three-day hump. If you can make it over those three days without smoking one cigarette, if you can make it past day one, day two, day three, you make it over the hump, you're fine. Same thing with this. I made it past day three. I'm all right. In the lawsuit against them, McDonald's stated in their own defense that it's a matter of common knowledge that any processing that its foods undergo serve to make them more harmful than unprocessed foods. Originally created from old chickens that could no longer lay eggs, McNuggets are now made from chickens with unusually large breasts. They are stripped from the bone and ground up into a sort of chicken mash, which is then combined with all sorts of stabilizers and preservatives, pressed into familiar shapes, breaded, deep-fried, freeze-dried, and then shipped to a McDonald's near you. Judge Robert Sweet called them a McFrankenstein creation of various elements not utilized by the home cook. Uh, it's been a new thing is I've started to have like little, some chest, not chest pains, but like pressure. You know, I feel like I got pressure on my chest. So uh, I, I figure that's probably not a good thing. Did I get the uh, double quarter pounder with cheese value meal? I don't feel good today. Not that I feel sick, but um, I just feel really depressed. You know, for no reason. I mean, things are going great. We've had a good day. I just feel really, yeah. I got my chicken group. There's no chicken group. That's my cholesterol group. Protein. I got my protein group. Carbohydrates. I got my meat group. You got meat, meat, sugar, and fat. My headache's coming back again. It feels like somebody's yanking on the tendons behind my eyes. My body officially hates me. All the vitamins that you see here, vitamin E, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, and so on, are all under 50% of what you need. The total cholesterol was 165 before, now it's 225. The, the liver is sick, yeah. and the most likely cause of your liver sickness is a fatty liver. My, my, my advice to you is to, is to stop doing what you're doing because it's, it's hurting you. I, uh, I woke up, couldn't breathe. I was having really difficulty breathing. I'm very hot and uh, um, felt like I was having a heart.
heart palpitations. Um, came up and uh, walked around the living room, just trying to get my breath back. And uh, I want to finish, but uh, don't want anything real bad to happen either. Absolutely outrageous. Okay, for the first time we're seeing uric acid elevated, so you're giving yourself hyperuricemia, and the danger of hyperuricemia is gout, kidney stones. The results for your liver are uh, obscene beyond anything I would have I would have thought. Yeah, truly. For this month, I'll have eaten as much McDonald's as most nutritionists say you're supposed to eat in eight years. Oh. Man, walking up the stairs has gotten it's starting to get really difficult. By the time I get to the top, it's really pathetic. Over the course of my McDiet, I consumed 30 pounds of sugar from their food. That's a pound a day. On top of that, I also took in 12 pounds of fat. In only 30 days of eating nothing but McDonald's, I gained 24 and a half pounds. My liver turned to fat and my cholesterol shot up 65 points. My body fat percentage went from 11 to 18%, still below the national average of 22% for men and 30% for women. I nearly doubled my risk of coronary heart disease, making myself twice as likely to have heart failure. I felt depressed and exhausted most of the time, my mood swung on a dime, and I craved this food more and more when I ate it and got massive headaches when I didn't. In my final blood test, Many of my body functions showed signs of improvement, but the doctors were less than optimistic. Should people eat fast food? Uh, no. <laughs> you know, this is, uh, the answer is no. It certainly needs to be very restricted and balanced with overall a healthy diet. But unfortunately, you cause some major harm to your heart, your liver, your blood. I guess the big question is, who do you want to see go first? You or them?